An on-site monitoring well. That means that it was right up on the pg e property over there. And you say that this stuff, this hexavalent chromium, well, it's poisonous. Yeah. Well, Aaron, it's it's just got to be different than than what's in our water, cause cause ours is okay. The guys from from PG and E told me they sat right in the kitchen and, and and told me that it was it was fine. I know, I know, but the toxicologist that I've been talking to, he gave me a list of problems that can come from hexavalent chromium exposure. Everything you all have is on that list. No, no, no. No, that's that's not what that's not what our doctor said. He said that well, that one's got absolutely nothing to do with the other. Right. But PG and E paid for that doctor. Sent that fax. I'm saying the second she she pressed the send button, uh, PG&E's claim department was on the phone to me, scheduling a meeting. So you think that we, you know, let me do it. So you drive me nuts. So you think we scared them, don't you? Well, I, they're taking the trouble to send someone. Sure as hell, sounds like they're setting up and taking notice. In the interest of putting this whole thing to rest, PG&E is willing to offer the Jensen's $250,000 for their home. $250,000? In terms of land value out in Hinkley, Mr. Mazury, we feel that's a more than fair price. How about in terms of medical expenses? $250,000 isn't going to come close to what this family is going to have to spend on doctors. I understand they've had a bad run of luck health-wise, and they have my sympathies, but that's not pg and fault. You're kidding, right? Look at these readings. pg and es own technicians documented toxic levels of hexavalent chromium in those wells on numerous occasions. Everything the Jensen's have had is proven reaction to exposure to hexavalent chromium. They have had. They have had. breast cysts, uterine cancer, Hodgkin's disease, immune deficiencies, asthma, chronic nosebleeds. A million things could have caused those problems. Poor diet, bad genes, irresponsible lifestyle. Our offer is final, and it's more than fair. Wait a minute. I, I thought we were negotiating here. $250,000 is all I'm authorized to offer. I'll present your offer to my clients. I doubt that except. Mr. Mazury, before you go off on some crusade, you might want to remember who it is you're dealing with here. PG&E is a $28 billion corporation. $28 billion? I didn't know it was that much. Wow! $28 billion. Holy cow. At least they made an offer. That wasn't an offer. A million would have been an offer. And they said a mail clerk down to jerk me off, waste my time. Why would they do that? 
Because they can. You heard what that kid said. They have $28 billion at their disposal. They can afford to waste all the time in the world. And you can't? You think I made the money? What are you yelling at me for? Because I'm pissed off. Good. Jesus. You look like the Secret Service. Intimidation. Let the games begin. Show them into the conference room. Donald, Anna, I want to talk to you for a minute. Counselors? Counselors. Let's be honest here. Twenty million dollars is more money than these people have ever dreamed of. Oh, see, now that pisses me off. First of all, since the demur, we have more than 400 plaintiffs in. Let's be honest, we all know there are more out there. They may not be the most sophisticated people, but they do know how to divide, and $20 million isn't shit when you split it between them. Aaron. Second of all, these people don't dream about being rich. They dream about being able to watch their kids swim in a pool without worrying that they'll have to have a hysterectomy at the age of 20, like Rosa Diaz, a client of ours, or have their spine deteriorate like Stan Bloom, another client of ours. So before you come back here with another lame-ass offer, I want you to think real hard about what your spine is worth, Mr. Walker. Or what you might expect someone to pay you for your uterus, Miss Sanchez. Then you take out your calculator and you multiply that number by a hundred. Anything less than that is a waste of our time. By the way, we had that water brought in special for you folks. It came from Llewellyn Hinckley. <clears throat> I think this meeting is over. Damn right it is. 